Hey everybody, this is Julie with ReadySetStampIt.blogspot.com. Today we are going to be making a birthday party invitation, and it's actually for my niece. So we're going to be using the wild card cartridge, and what page we're going to be on here is 62. This is wonderful paper. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this looks like it's metal. It's really cool. So this is going to be the background of the paper. So the first thing we're going to cut out of this is the card itself. I want to cut the card at six and three quarter inches. Unfortunately, you only get one of those per page. So if you want to cut it so it would fit it per page, I believe it was five and a half that would fit two of them per page. But it's pretty small when you do five and a half, just to let you know. It's pr pretty small. That's why I decided to go ahead with the six and three quarters. So here's the six and three quarter, and we're going to be doing the card itself, the present card. And we're going to go ahead and press cut. And then what we're, oh, sorry, we need to load this up. There we go. And the card, oops, let's try that again. And then press cut. And then what we're going to do is go and the little tag, I also want to do the silver as well. So what we're going to do is do the silver in a five and a half size and that will end up looking like this. So it's a little bit smaller, but I like the way it looks. I'm going to put like, it's a party here or you're invited. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to say on it, but either it's a party or you're invited. So while this cuts, we'll get ready to note that we need to push frame for this one and then the tag and we'll need to adjust the size down to five and a half. Trust me, if you guys could see me on this side, I have all my chicken scratching of all trying to fit it on the page and done my mathematical works here. Little math whiz that I am not. Anyway, so let's go here and do frame and we're going to bring that down to five and three quarters and push the present once again and we'll go cut this and then when we come back this actually takes three different card stocks so it's going to take one behind and one on top so you'll see me come back again two more times with different papers loaded and then we'll put the card together hi everybody so here is the one that we cut at six and three quarters and what my brilliant niece said was because we went to um, Joanne Fabrics and I thought the paper, none of it was on sale, and I'm always a stickler for getting things on sale. They were a dollar a piece, but what she said is, why don't you cut it down the middle, and then you can use two pieces. Now, I know this won't be cut out here, but still, I could use two pieces and stick it onto a piece of cardstock that's cheaper. So anyway, that's a cheaper way of doing it, and um, I think it was a great suggestion that she had. So here we go. Now we're going to cut actual portion that's going to go, it'll fit right over this. So let me show you what that is. That'll be the icon here. It's, we're still dealing with page 62 and the icon. We're going to cut this at five and three quarters. So I'll do five and three quarters at set four. We need to do icon of the present. We're going to do this cute, cute polka dotted paper. So I'll go ahead and cut. Oops, I should have arrowed down the paper. I've already cut one. So there it goes cutting it again. Now I got a nice little liner. So let's cut that one more time, repeat last, and cut it again just so that you can see it cutting there. And um, then the next time we come back together we're going to be doing uh, the little squigglies and the bow portion. See you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing now is actually cutting the bow portion of this and this will be on icon. So you're going to do the icon on page 62 shift and then you're going to press the present and then it'll come up the bow. Now normally we cut the card at six and three quarters. So normally you'd cut the bow at six and three quarter, but when you cut it a little bit smaller, it'll be like a layered effect. And I think that looks really, really cute like that. So that's what we're, we're going for. And again, this will be cut down here and then this will be like that. Now it doesn't have the opening in the back, but you'll see, I'll show you the, both the cards so you can see both the effects on that. So let's go ahead and press cut. Whoops, not yet. <laughs> Five and three quarters. Press cut. And then the other thing that we need to make on this is the little squiggles. And when I did the squiggles here, I liked them at three and a half. So 
three and a half just seemed to fit really well onto the card itself. I thought it went nicely, so um, that's what I went with. So let's do the squiggles, and that is on the bottom here. So that would be the liner, so the liner, and then the present. And you'll see the squiggles come up, and we're going to change the size here to three and a half as soon as it comes up. So three and a half. There we go. Now when we come back together, we'll put this pretty card together, or invitation I should say. Hey guys, one quick tip. When you are doing, for instance, this bow in mass quantities, which I'm doing, and so you need it to be the same thing across this whole sheet of paper here, what you would do, let's say for the bow, you need to press the icon, the shift, and then the present, which would give you the uh, um, icon here of the bow. Then you put autofill, and it will automatically fill in for this whole page and let you know and calculate once you hit cut how many times per page. It's going to cut four times on this page and give you four of those. So anyway, just a quick tip there and hope that helps you guys. Hey everybody, so let's put this card together. The first step that I did here was I took this, which is the full cut out of this, and cut it right down the middle and kind of rounded off this bottom. So that made it look like that. So what we'll do is tape this onto here. And the reason why I did this, I purchased this paper, which I really love, but it has a grid on the other side so that when you fold it open, you'd see the grid. Now I could take the time to overlay it and whatnot, but I just decided it would just be better just to tape this onto here. Save myself a lot of time because I am mass producing these. So this is my easy way, I think, of, of doing it. So anyway, this is on a 5x7 card, and I'm just adhering that onto there. And then the next step that we'll do is add this. And what I've done is go ahead and glue these little squiggle guys onto it just to for, you know make things go a little bit quicker so you guys didn't have to see all of the process here. So let me go ahead and stick that onto here. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to add this bow. And what I like about this is it added a double bow effect. So I kind of thought that was pretty cool. And of course I love the sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. But it's got all sorts of sparkles. It's really cool. One tip about this that I did learn in regards to the sparkles, make sure and put your um, depth onto your Cricut cutter to the deepest that it can go because it um, is really thick paper and you need to make sure and add that so that it won't um, uh, you know, so that it will cut because I did it the first time and then had to recut it again because it didn't work out the way it should have worked out. So there's that and then the next thing that we did this is um, foam mounting tape here and I printed this off myself. It says it's a party and I cut this tag out which you guys saw that and added a little brad just to add some effect and so mounting foam tape is underneath here and then mounting foam tape is here and then you just add it as if it's a little little um, tag there and then for the inside what I've done is pre-print everything just on the cardstock and then went, in here, uh, went ahead and I'm actually covering up the information just to protect her privacy but anyway and then there's a little squiggle that I added so that will actually go in the inside here and that's what people will see when they open up the card so anyway I hope you guys like it and this has been a really fun project and my niece is just tickled tickled pink alright have a, have a great night everybody and a great day bye bye